Hi hey folks, everything doing in the sun? This is a, um, the, the nuclear accident uh, that I was speaking about uh, in Russia um, in the previous video. Uh, Medicsphere, um, they have uh, been in contact with radioactive patients. This is a big deal. This is a, so there's a military missile um, that uh, they were uh, creating, testing. Uh, it's a nuclear-powered missile, and apparently it blew up in some uh, secret uh, military facilities, and um, uh, some uh, several were killed, and several were injured, and medics went in uh, with ambulances, all covered in to deal with a radioactive um, fallout, basically, and to uh, prevent uh, radioactive dust getting on all their uh, stuff. But medics uh, believe um, that they were exposed to uh, the radio, um, to radioactive patients. Russian nuclear accident medics fear radioactive patients. And this is the article about this is from BBC.com. I'll put the link in the description, but an update on this. It says Russian medics who treated uh, radiation victims after a military explosion in the Arctic had no protection, and this is the explosion that I think it was Norway um, detected a, a, a radioactive accident, a nuclear accident. Um, uh, they had no protection. Protection. They now fear they were irradiated themselves. Two of the medics uh, in Arkhangelsk spoke to BBC Russian about the victim's evacuation on condition of anonymity. Five nuclear engineers died on... Uh, August 8th, when the isotope fuel engine, um, a proprietary uh, uh, nuclear engine for a missile, uh, blew up at a test range. Six other people were injured. Uh, Putin said the test involved a new weapon system, a nuclear-powered weapon system. Officials gave few details about the accident. On, on August 14th, Russian Weather Service revealed the radiation levels had spiked 16 times above uh, normal, it says. According to the official data, the radiation reached uh, Severodvinsk uh, and was not heavy enough to cause radiation sickness. So this is a look at the uh, the map, uh, Russia in the top corner there, um, of the, the you know larger country. Um, it's a relation to Moscow, and um, then this location on the Divina Bay here. Experts in Russia said the w uh, and the West say uh, the test was most likely linked to the new 9M730 uh, nuclear-powered cruise missile called Skyfall by NATO. It almost f sounds like a James Bond <clears throat> uh, sort of a weapon. Last year, Putin said the technology would give the missile unlimited range. Uh, it says the medics were at the civilian... Um, Regional hospital, which treated three of the injured, while three other casualties were taken uh, to another hospital called uh, Shemashko, which is equipped for radiation emergencies. The medics, uh, let's see, the medics were speaking out now because they feared for their own health and did not want any similar safety violations. We don't want them to bring us next time, uh, not three, but ten, God forbid, and hide the information from us. Again, the degree of secrecy around the explosion has drawn comparisons to the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. So you talk about, uh, you know, the Bible speaks about um, 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 the, the uh, uh, oceans, the waters uh, becoming bitter, becoming wormwood, becoming Chernobyl. And of course, you've seen videos about that that I've done and, and, and several others, I'm sure. And uh, you look at all these uh, uh, nuclear accidents, uh, the radiation getting out, and this could be, this is being compared to 1986, the Chernobyl disaster. And so you have all these things, and when do these things start having a real effect on the water supply of the world? Uh, as these things are not contained, um, it, uh, it's, it's a picture of the end times, really. Uh, it says the radiation picture was developing uh, by the hour. Blood tests were being done, and every hour you could see uh, that this or that cell count was plunging. Um, that signified a very high radiation dose. So, um, you know, these people were actually um, slowly dying, uh, basically, from this. Uh, it says a military team later carried out uh, decontamination work uh, at the hospital. The medic said the casualty's clothing was removed along with stretchers and highly radioactive, and a highly radioactive uh, bath, it says. 
Our cleaners should have been advised that they just, uh, they're just they just simple country folk. They were just picking up sacks and bundles and carrying them out. This sounds like exactly what happened at Chernobyl. The, you know, the initial responders went in. Uh, they, didn't, they weren't told what was happening. They weren't told the risks. They were just going in cleaning up. Um, and all the countries uh, or the cities around Chernobyl, as they uh, cleaned them up, there's so many people were exposed uh, and uh, they weren't really told. Same with Fukushima. When uh, the Fukushima disaster happened in Japan, several uh, initial workers went in there, and they weren't really told the extent, uh, because if they were, they probably would have known that uh, their death was imminent uh, from uh, a radiation exposure. Two weeks after the explosion, the Russian health ministry said none of the medics <clears throat> at the hospital had received hazardous radiation dose. dose. Its conclusions was based on medical examina examination of 91 uh, staff. Um, and you know Russia is always going to be a little bit quiet about this. They don't want the world knowing what's happening. They don't want the world to know that um, some of their most significant, uh, um, sophisticated missile technology um, is having troubles. They don't want the world to know that. It's embarrassing. Of course, any country um, who is developing uh, missile systems wouldn't want them to know that. Um, not only that, we have. I, I read the story in the in the previous uh, video about. Um, uh, the war games, the war drills happening, um, and the missile tests that Russia uh, said that they're going to um, perform their own missile tests, uh, tit for tat, um, for U.S. missile tests. Well, this is proof that you know Russia is already working on uh, their own uh, new missiles, nuclear-powered missiles, um, um, and and kind of the next level of war games. <clears throat> Not only that, but we may not need to use these missiles because the world may be po poisoned. The, the waters of the world may become wormwood um, and poisoned um, just from a radiation exposure and these sorts of uh, nuclear accidents that are uh, that seem to be occurring uh, fairly regularly in, in Russia, it seems. Um, many uh, disasters, and they're often, um, just like the image shows, they're often right on the, on the water line. Look at this, uh, Russian naval test range right on the water there. So why are they so close to the water? Um, and, and they're testing these things, and these things are failing. So this uh, Skyfall nuclear-powered cruise missile, um, um, you know, when is one of these going to be the fulfillment of the scriptures about uh, the warm wood and the waters becoming bitter? Um, I think those are all um, withheld and will be coming to pass um, when the wrath of God uh, falls and uh, maybe just before, maybe during the tribulation uh, period. Um, but we're getting so close to this, and I think these are all the precursors, all these accidents are the precursors um, to, um, um, to the revelation in the Bible about the last days and the fulfillment uh, of uh, those uh, prophetic end-time scenarios. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll leave there, and we'll see you guys in the next video.